The Joe Biden administration is planning to withdraw the nomination for Neera Tandon to serve as the director of the Office of Management and Budget. This has been an ongoing controversy when it comes to the Senate confirmations. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin raised his hand early on in the process and noted that he would be unwilling to vote in favor of nominating Neera Tandon, meaning that the Senate would unlikely have the votes necessary to confirm her. There was a period of time where it appeared as though the Biden administration would really fight on behalf of Neera Tandon. And then at that point, there were reporters asking questions about why the administration was willing to fight so hard for a nominee, but was not willing to fight hard when it came to a $15 an hour minimum wage. And so now it appears that Neera Tandon is willing to you know, withdraw the nomination. The, the White House is also willing to do it. Um, this story is developing as we speak. But it's also worth noting that the confirmation hearing for Shalonda Young happened today. And she was nominated by Joe Biden to serve as the deputy director for the Office of Management and Budget. And based on what we're seeing from uh, reporting in Politico, uh, both Democrats and Republicans seem to uh, favor her not just as the deputy director of the OMB, but as the director of the OMB. Which to be quite honest with you gives me a little bit of pause, especially when you hear from people like Senator Lindsey Graham saying things like this to Shalonda Young, quote, you'll get my support, maybe for both jobs. Everybody who deals with you on our side has nothing but good things to say. You might talk me out of voting for you, but I doubt it. So who is Shalonda Young? Why is she, you know, Know, part of this discussion now. Well, Biden nominated her again as the deputy director for the OMB. And she's been a longtime staffer within the House of Representatives. She's been the staff director for the House Appropriations Committee. And she's been tasked with reaching bipartisan funding bills within the House of Representatives. To be quite honest with you, I don't know too much about her past as we speak. But you know, I do plan on digging more into, you know, her career to see where she really stands on issues that matter to us. But for now, this seems to be good news, especially considering the fact that Neera Tandon had all sorts of conflicts of interest as she had served as the head of the Center for American Progress, which had received quite a bit of funding from major corporations and from foreign actors as well. That's something that concerned me. Because she would be the head of an important government agency that puts out studies that help our lawmakers make decisions about where to focus or target our resources. I don't, I don't want the Office of Management and Budget to be a favor factory for Neera Tandon's previous clients at the Center for American Progress. But I do want to get your thoughts, Francesca. You know, the the reason like senators don't like her is because of her mean tweets. I think that's <laughs> Honestly, ridiculous. They don't seem at all concerned about Neera Tandon's conflicts of interest, but I know we care about that. So, do you think this is good news? I mean, it's good. You know, she withdrew her nomination, and so Biden then accepted it. And and one of the lines in it is, I think that the administration needs to focus on other things. And I don't think she's wrong. So on that, I feel like it was the right move to withdraw her nomination. Why make this a sticking point? Especially when she's not really exciting anyone. Like she's no one's really behind her, and she is seen as a Hillary Clinton insider. I'm just going to say she's seen as more of a Clinton insider. You know, we know all the things that she has said and and done when it comes to trying to thwart any efforts toward Medicaid, Medicare for all. She she is very much a status quo type of figure. But but actually a little bit of an outsider. So it's interesting that they might go with Shalonda Young, who is an insider. But I guess you know more familiar with the the actual Republicans and the lawmakers that are there. So I don't know whatever it whatever we need to do to get it done. Um, I'm not sure Shalonda Young is is much to the left of Nira. I know there were other choices for the director of OMB that were even worse than Nira Tandon um, that was caught raising some alarm bells. So I'm just kind of like this has been a long few weeks. Uh, everyone knows who Nira Tandon is now. Uh, I don't know. Go with God. 
but uh, let, let's get to work. <laughs> right, right, so we'll see how this plays out. Just because Republicans favor Young doesn't mean that she'll um, have the uh, nomination from Joe Biden to serve as the director of uh, the Office of Management and Budget, but we don't know for sure. I mean, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, as I mentioned, the story is developing as we're speaking right now. Um, and we'll fill you guys in as we learn more. Uh, but you know, it is again interesting that the thing that really seemed to upset our lawmakers was the fact that their feelings were hurt through tweets. I mean, mm -hmm. that has been the priority in um, you know, fighting back against Neera Tandon as the nominee here. I Look, at the end of the day, I don't want Neera Tannen in that role. So I'm happy with her withdrawing her nomination. But I just wish that we had lawmakers who understood the actual issues with Neera Tandon as opposed to just focusing on their like personal beef with her and her behavior on Twitter and social media. It's just I mean, this ridiculous. Is, this is the party that had an entire conference called America uncancelled. And yet you're you're scared and sad about Neera Tandon's tweets, so you can't effectively cancel her. I mean, that's essentially what happened, right? They're so mad yep. about her old tweets. And so you kind of look ahead and you're like, okay, if AOC were to be nominated, right? Would there be something in all of her tweets, right? Like she goes toe to toe with Ted Cruz, dunks on him regularly, wins every time. Um, does that disqualify her because she said mean things? So you're absolutely right. The rationale is wrong. And like once again, another, hmm, I guess cancel culture doesn't apply to Republicans when they wield it. But, you know, that's fine. Let's move forward. I'm glad she's not going to be the director. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.